<laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's good. That was the that's bridge uh, that good. carried 71 over uh, yard B. My love. Lose 65 B. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so, somebody I love uh, that. was a hell of a. I love mouth the, bucket. Uh, bucket mouth. Yeah. Mirindo. Snake, Snake face fetter. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Beautiful cookie. Did you ever go under Cleveland Avenue and get pictures of that shanty and those guys? Uh, oh. Shanty? Oh, the, the, the quote, tower, unquote? Well, yeah, the little oh, yeah. floor tower. Yeah. yeah. There was also, I believe it was underneath Cleveland Avenue, there was an N6B caboose down in there, some sort of a shanty or some such. Uh, it was on, uh, yeah, they knocked the trucks off from under right in there, Bob. Wow. 1955 or so. I went down there one night to visit the second trick operator, and this caboose uh -huh. comes by, and they they were such pranksters. They had a whole bunch of burning newspapers on the back. Just when they went by the operator, they kicked them off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, I believe, is in Yard A. It was a uh, a crossover here from uh, number three, B O three, over or no B O four, the eastbound track over to the first yard track with the, just dwarf signals protecting it. And the signals on the yard track were always lined up opposed to each other until you knock them down and make a move. Uh, it's downtown there. The good start on the uh, Nationwide building. He's uh, about to pass by... Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, U.S. Does this have a uh, brighter position for the uh, bulb? Yeah, kick it one up notch. One which, notch which, which one is it? The, uh, here. No, it is on, no, it is on bright. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, it is on high beam. <laughs> so we're on high beam already. <laughs> there, see? Look at those switch lamps. Isn't that cool? Wow. Is that a Bell telephone sign on the pole there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know where they found that. that. They, was that for fun, or did he have a phone in there in case somebody <laughs> needed it? <laughs> I don't think so. That was called the U.S. switch tender there, and the uh, there was another shanty over at, just out of this picture to the right that also had a telephone pole with the uh, red uh, beacon rays up on top, and they could throw a switch in numerous different places, Start those things going and sirens blowing, mm -hmm. and everything came to a halt. You know that was the most unbelievable operation and how Indeed. everything worked. Everybody just knew. You had what flag was for going one mm -hmm. direction and the other color flag for another. Green was for eastbound, yellow was for westbound, and the other way around. I, I think you're right, Joe. I think it was. What U.S. tower right behind the engines? No, I, I, know, I, there's, I mean right. uh, Nielsen. That, yeah, Nielsen. Nielsen was the other side. At the other end of the uh, oh, the next support three. there. But the the, uh, the switch tender shanty to the right here, there was one track came along, went into a switch, and another track beside it, the switch went out, and just the room between it was where where the switch tender was. I've got a shot of it someplace. If something started derailing there, the, the only chance you had was to climb the telephone pole. <laughs> and uh, and there's just, one of the uh, the hand throw puzzles. You yeah, had to know what you had done everything. Geez. Just starting by Nielsen there, U.S. Towers over to the right. When everything was in service, I wonder how many hand thrown puzzles were there. Wow. A bunch. Because there was a few west of the depot on the Bradford yeah. side, too. Oh, yeah, probably 20 at least. Yeah. Come on. And there's the Ohio State Limited. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, State. Wow. Coming out of uh, St. Clair Engine House. Or maybe going in, I don't remember which. Well, that was oh. after he ran just Cleveland Columbus and back. And they filled the burn barrel up, too. <laughs> they the well, not necessarily, Pete. Uh, they, they had that going to Cincinnati. I wrote it. Well, let me explain. Okay, Cincinnati. The, the first year in Penn Central, he did go all the way Cleveland Cincinnati and back. And then when they closed the CNX, they swung the remnants of Cincinnati Limited over to the big four route from Columbus to Cincinnati, and then the Bud car only came down to Columbus and back to Cleveland. Uh, the time I rode it, it went to big four to Cincinnati. Well, with the exception of the between Columbus and London. That well, see, that's no, a bad. No, one. we. Uh, I've got shots of him going by uh, Sharonville. And well, yeah, various things like that. Yeah, but he was on the Pansy from Columbus to London, and then it was big four from there. Oh yeah. They didn't go out of Columbus on the big four. 
No, I think it was gone. But it was that, 69, uh, I think. That oh, well, yeah. that could be. But the uh, Smith Brothers hardware there looks uh, very much the same, only it's... Uh, Better shape. <laughs> yeah, it, well, it's in... Uh, shape, it's yeah. high, uh, high cost offices up in there. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's really nice, man. That's the only Penn Central Century 424. Uh, sure. And uh, here we are, he's coming by the stack signal back there at the depot. There goes one of the Cadillacs. Yeah. Is that, what'd you say? Is that the first one you rode? Mm -hmm. Is it? And this is number 14 when they started putting him in the depot to get serviced. <coughs> oh, the freight, uh, freight secondaries around the south side of the depot. Just off to the right is the, uh, the stack signals. The top room there on the right corner was the men's room, and that had the best view. Oh, wow, yeah, I would, yeah. <laughs> and the smell to go with yeah. it. Yeah, wow. I'm not sure whether that's a six track or not. Six track was used as a running track through the depot. I think you could at one time get to it uh, off of the Bradford side. Well, I get think to it off of the, the switches were interlocked uh, into there from Old Tangent. This is the last platform to the right here, looking west. The two yeah. big four tracks are on the right. Yeah. Two big four main. Uh, uh, big four being over on the right side. Uh, yeah. yeah, when that bridge got knocked down to, into the parking lot, I was working at Burt Tower, and the dispatcher's line went silent for about 45 minutes. And Dan Clark, when he comes back on, he says, well, boys, I just got me a new car. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? The dispatchers all parked on that bridge. They had oh, one lane of parking, geez. one lane of traffic. This is the bridge into the parking lot at Union Station. Wow. wow. And what, who, what took the bridge out? A uh, derailment. E either <laughs> the train derailed and took the bridge out, or the bridge fell on the train. They never, I never heard wow. whether they decided which way that was. Oh of course, this, this is the same group that when a fire developed in the instrument house at East Alton, finally told their bosses that the fire was caused by a bird carrying a lighted cigarette into the instrument house. <laughs> <laughs> and they expected him to believe that? Well, there was a smoking car. Really the people that they were talking to were dumber than they were. <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, a smoking blue I'm not jay. not sure what the story is here, whether that is the uh, remnants of the sportsman. The sportsman, and why would it be uh, this far out is the thing. Well, he's always back then. Well, he's clear out. He's he's not, not from this end of the depot, this is east end. Yeah, I say he wouldn't be out this far. He's always back in the west. End. Maybe it was the yeah. version. I think that's uh, Ohio State Limited in better days on the right. I uh, never saw yeah. Penn Central. Uh, Oh, that's tough. See, the High State Limited died in November of 67, uh, and the merger was February 68. That's neat how you used that in the first uh, like I was good back in them days. That's cool. Like that. You had to uh, stoop low, though, didn't you? That is cool. Right? Well, uh, yeah, I could get down and back up. Then. I couldn't do that now. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't quite get it focused. focus, so. That's cool. Well, it was pretty damn dark. That was the you. Oh, that's a great job. There oh, comes 13 into the depot for a little fuel. Uh, and uh, the stub end of the bridge. That's where the bridge connected on to drive, make a U turn through the parking lot. A friend of mine named Jim Keene was working High Street. The but outside uh, of that depot Jim doesn't Keen, do justice to yeah, the inside. Nice. It's beautiful. He was working High Street and heard this strange sound. Uh, looked out east of the tower and here's the whole damn wall that's just out of the picture here and collapsed onto both tracks. Oh, shoot. <laughs> now you could still give him a station there from the left. Yeah. There's okay. still another drive to the left. Okay. Now, can you see it? What's it? Commit no nuisance. Yes. Be, what's it say, Wait, please? Use restrooms. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> please. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Nuisance head. Ah. Uh, you know, use nuisance paper. <laughs> Complete no ah, nuisance. nuisance. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Please use restrooms. I wow. Never use that. Yeah. Fuck, I want. Yeah. Oh, that's.
that's cool. Wow. Uh, there's the old Ohio State Limited again. That's when the butt car was broke down. That was the substitute. <laughs> Well, quite often it was the jeep was towing the bug car. Yeah. <laughs> or the bug car was towing the jeep. Or they used there. the Erie coaches that MHRF had up in Cleveland. They oh, they the did? Area, yeah, they used an Erie heavyweight coach. That would either be 30 or 32. Mm, a little better train. Respect 30. Because I think 32 was usually uh, yeah. after, after sundown. 32 was what, Penn, Texas? St. Louis. Uh, St. No, Louis no. The other one. Uh, 32 was Penn, Texas. 30 was a... Spirit of St. Louis. I can't remember. Penn, Texas at one time was 34. Yeah. He's coming by the stack. He's coming by the stack. Yeah. What? Going for, uh... Going uh, for a second. That one little track into the right is where they unload the coal cars for the heating plant, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I remember the day one of those cars rolled out off of that ramp. <laughs> now what takes that up on top of the umbrella shell area? Is that yeah, a light? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Spotlight. Okay. Now see there's one on the left of this shed over here. It okay. just lights up the end of the platform. Okay. Now uh, right where he was pointing there, that is the, uh, uh, the earlier support for uh, 3rd Street. It looks very much like it came off of a battleship. All kinds of holes and rivets and stuff like that. And they had to leave that in there because it was also holding up the train shed. Well, when they oh. tore all this stuff out, of course, they had to leave that in there. You can drive down there today and see that support down there. Yeah, it's got steel support instead of a big cement support because they couldn't take up the room on the platform. And that's the terminal helper, I suspect, at the uh, quote, new Amtrak. That's the new Amtrak depot station. Yeah. It's totally gone now. Uh, uh, oh my. Well, oh, there's Jimmy Keene. Yeah. Uh, that's a nice shot. Well, that's, uh, Keen? <laughs> yeah, that's a terminal helper. Awesome. Keene, Jimmy Keene. Yeah. He's a uh, conductor on the Indiana and Ohio down in Lancaster. For a little oh, sack of the tire. Sure. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of both. He spent time as a dispatcher on Conrail and Penn Central. Yeah. yeah. Top school for a while. That's uh, just to the upper right is High Street Tower. And this is out the Bradford side. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the New York Central's over way there, out the right left. Yeah. All those damn tracks laid there. All the time I worked High Street, I don't think I saw anything on there except six track. Sometimes you put uh, BO85 and so forth down through there. Oh. Oh. That's, that's BO85 and uh, the I don't remember what the eastbound is. Bend around to the right and the track into the depot is straight ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, one track? Yeah, it's a little fanned out when it got in oh, hand okay. Now this is uh, just a little bit <coughs> west of High Street, still in the uh, interlocking. He's uh, about to, that's, that's Front Street there, and he's about to swing around the curve toward uh, the bridge and sail to tower. Very sharp. That was a pretty tight curve. But there was only one track for, from the London side. There were several from the Bradford and a couple okay. from the Big Four. <coughs> of course, everything in that picture is now gone. The, uh, just on the other side of where the street is is the uh, Nationwide building now. Just this shot. Where it going? What's that? I said the DL640 gone. <laughs> <A> long gone. <laughs> and this shot from the uh, steps of class three town. Shit. Yeah, there you just barely see the white stuff under the bridge there. That's high street. Actually it's the relay case for high street. Is it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That metal shed. Okay. Yeah. I had some kid off of the streets walk up there one time in the dark and says, Hey, mister, is it okay to walk under your tunnel? <laughs> Get up there above, uh, underneath the high street bridge. 